Hey guys, so I'm gonna meet my friend Eileen at the Lululemon in Takashimaya. She's a resident sales consultant. You guys know that I live and breathe in Lululemon, like essentially. This is all I wear every day, every single day. So today is a super special episode. I'm trying on every single bra at the Lululemon store in every single color so that you don't have to. We're gonna try and answer these following questions. Which is the best looking bra, regardless of activity? Which is the most comfortable bra for everyday wear? Which is the best high impact bra? And I I will give my verdict at the end of the video. Now, before we get started, please subscribe and also press the bell so that you get notified of all future videos. Okay, I'm in the little lemon dressing room right now. Basically one of my most commonly visited places. This may be my favorite bra of the season. They're pushing limits bra for 80 cup and I have to wear a size eight in this. It's gorgeous. You know, triangle shapes are actually excellent if you have big boobs. Think Pamela Anderson, like any of the bombshells, a lot of them wear triangles. Okay, this is a definitely a low impact activity bra, but I would just wear it as a cute top. I mean, this is pretty much the perfect nude color. Perfect. I would just slightly worry about it being too sexy in Singapore, honestly. I mean, it looks super nice, but it is very sexy. Black, ironically, is actually the least sexy color, which is great because it's slightly shrinking so you don't feel like it's so like, not like so in your face. I've been absolutely loving all these nude color bras. Nude, mauve, slightly pink, dirty rose color bras. And this is perfect. I would say medium support, but this is honestly extremely comfortable. I would wear this day to day as like an everyday bra actually. You know what, let me try on the size 8 so you guys have a better comparison. Alright, this is the same bra in the size 8. I think it's definitely a much better fit for me. I like the thickness of the band here. This is the free to be serene bra in the size 8. I actually feel like it's slightly loose. This band is quite loose here especially. I would go a size down. This is the white version. Definitely not very much support here. This is the free to be bra long line. Long line typically refers to this band here. It is actually more of a top. You can really just wear this out like this. I love this color. Okay, again, actually I would go for a size six instead of a size eight. Oh boy. <laughs> a lot of bounce here. But it's a very cute top. This is the same bra in a slightly different print. It's like a zebra print in a size 6. I much prefer the size. Again, you know, it's gonna have a little bit of that triangular compression of the boobs, but acceptable. Alright, see that slight spillage over here? Yeah, yoga, but very cute. This is the Pushing Limits bra, cup sizes C and D. And I have a size 8 here, it is too big for me. See this major gaping right here? Perfect, size 6 is much better. Still a little bit, a little bit gapy here, see that? But I can't go any smaller. Yeah, yoga. This is the Flow Y bra in the size 6. 
This is one of their really classy designs. Lots of people wear it to yoga. For me, I think it's a bit plain on me because I think such a simple back would actually require that you have various, like a really slim muscular back to kind of pull it off. This one is sort of like a grayish, almost like a linen pattern. It's the same bra but in a different color and this is much tighter than the other ones. Maybe the fabric is different but I much prefer this. Like I would maybe wear this as an actual sports bra versus in a top. But you'll also notice what feels like the right level of tightness. I have some spillage here because it's cutting into the flesh a little bit. This is like their famous energy bra in long line, meaning this band is thicker. I absolutely love this color combination. It's like a grayish misty blue. I actually tried this on in a size eight and it's way too big. So for this line of bras, I would suggest going slightly smaller. Yeah, this is a medium high impact bra. So, see, there's still a lot of movement. Do I use it for training purposes? Probably not, it's still a bit too much. A bit too much jitter, but I would happily wear this as a cute top. Same bra in black, actually feels tighter. And obviously it has a slightly minimizing look because it's black. This is very pale ballerina pink. It's a bit more pale than I would usually go for, but it's still a very pretty color. Just very angelic. This is their Invigorate bra in the size eight. Again, I think for me the band is a bit loose, but I think if I went any smaller, it would be really tight on the chest because the cup is, is the right cup size for me. It's got this supportive racer back, so it's definitely meant for like medium high impact exercises. Test. You definitely see noticeably less bounce here, but it's you know not as cute as the other ones. It's just a trade off you have to make, right? Like cute doesn't mean support. Support can't be that cute. This is their up for it bra in the 34C. So for this range, they actually have different bra sizing. So I would ideally go for a 32D, but this is the closest thing. You can move up a band size and move down a cup size. You see how there's still some spillage here? Let's see. Oh, okay. This is definitely a high impact bra, but it's not really moving that much. Bra padding here is a little bit firmer than their low impact bras. So you see it's a little bit rounder. Oh my god, this is actually my size. This is a size 32D. Their end light bra and weave. This is definitely their highest impact bra. You can just feel it, like it packs everything in. Um, but still for me, there's a bit of spillage like right here. But even then, you know, it's definitely the best fit I found so far. Not bad actually. Okay, jump test. Oh my god, <laughs> nothing's moving. 
like it's not moving. You know what, maybe I need to go up to an E because this part you see there's this little curvature here, it shouldn't be, but from an impact absorption point of view is really good. Now this color I really really like, dirty rose color, like I said this is like super popular. And it's a little bit redder than the other one that I tried, and this is higher impact. So it's time for our verdict. The winner of best looking bra goes to Pushing Limits Bra and Nude. I mean, come on. This is so gorgeous. The color, the fit, the cut, everything is perfect. You just need to be in the right mindset to pull it off. The winner of the most comfortable bra easily goes to Like a Cloud Bra. This really feels like you're not wearing anything, providing the right balance between comfort and support. For their best high impact bra, my choice is actually the Up For It bra, even though it's listed as a medium impact bra. Because of the customized bra sizing, I actually think it provides very decent support. I hope you enjoyed my recommendations and I'll see you guys soon.